find the remainder when 7 raised to 20 22 plus 3 raised to 20 22 is divided by 5. The problem on remainder calculation in J main is very common and generally when we solve these type of problem we use binomial theorem. But for this particular problem there is another much easier approach of finding the remainder. So basically we are dividing the number by 5. Let us say that the number is n and this is 7 raised to 2022 plus 3 raised to 2022. Now when we are dividing a number by 5, the digit at unit place will decide the remainder, right? And to find the digit at unit place, using cyclicity we can easily get uh, that digit. So basically if you see 7 raised to 1, the digit at unit place will be 7. For 7 square, the digit at unit place is 9. For 7 cube, the digit at unit place will be 3. And for 7 raised to 4, the digit at unit place is 1. And once you get 1, the same pattern will repeat again. So basically, the digit at unit place for different exponent of 7 will be 7, 9, 3, 1, again 7, 9, 3, 1 and so on. Right? So whenever the exponent is multiple of 4, the digit at unit place will be 1. Whenever the exponent is multiple of 4 plus 2, then the digit at unit place will be 9 and so on. Here if you notice this number 7 raised to 20, 22. So the exponent is 20, 22. This will be multiple of 4 plus 2. Right? This is of the form 4m four in, four in plus 2. So in this number 7 raised to 20, 22, the digit at unit place, this must be 9. And similarly, if you see the different exponent of 3, so 3 raised to 1 is 3, 3 square will be 9, 3 cube digit at unit place is 7, 3 raised to 4, the digit at unit place is 1. So again, you will get the same pattern. For 3 also, the exponent is multiple of 4 plus 2, right? This number is 4m plus 2. So therefore, for 3 raised to 20, 22, the digit at unit place will be 9. So basically, for this number n, Right, the digit at unit place will be 9 plus 9, so that will be 8. Right, for 7 raised to 2022, 20, we have 9. For 3 raised to 2022, 20, 9. So for number n, the digit at unit place will be 8. And if we have 8 on unit place, and if we divide that number by 5, then the remainder will be 3. So the right answer for this problem is option C.